the vlog guys, start of the Fiji vlog for your hiatus, but we're back. I am on a different flight to these guys, but our flights leave an hour apart. So I'm here way before I need to be. And then these guys fly out. What time's your flight? Seven, quarter past seven. No, six, oh no, 6.45. And then mine is 8 a.m. And it's currently 6 a.m. <laughs> See you in Fiji. <laughs> Matt and Sage are on the way. I thought it was board for another hour. This is their plane. I'll watch them taxi out and take off and then I'll head to my gate. I'm really hoping that mine arrives on time. I land an hour and a quarter-ish after them. So they're gonna wait for me in Nandi and then we're gonna jump in a taxi together, go to dinner hour. From there, Matt and Sage are staying on dinner hour with my auntie and uncle tonight and mum and dad and I heading down the coast to the Shangri-La, which I'm so excited for. Used to go there as a kid, it's gonna be great. And then Matt and Sage are waiting for Sage's mum and sister to arrive tomorrow night and then they'll also come down to the Shangri-La. Bit of moving around happening, but that's okay. Taxi to come, and Mum and Dad and I are going to scoot down the coast to the Shangri-La. Welcome to the Shangri-La. This place has so many childhood memories. <laughs> and Dad and Matt and I would stay in this room, literally this exact room, room 152, and Nana and Papa would stay in the room next door, room 153. Well, that's really bright. We went out for dinner just to the restaurant they have here. It was super nostalgic. We used to go there all the time when we were younger. This is literally just gone nine o'clock, and I'm gonna go to bed now, because we woke up at four o'clock this morning to catch our flight, or to get to the airport for Matt and Sage to catch their flight. Mum and I went for a walk down the other side of the resort where they have a full-on gym, which I've never paid interest to before, because I wasn't a gym girly. Plan for tomorrow. The plan is kind of to do nothing but I don't do nothing very well we're working on it but I don't do nothing very well I'm going to wake up at quarter past six loves an early morning the sun rises at 6 30 and tomorrow is meant to be a, a beautiful day the weather today was kind of average but that's okay quiet time gym walk buffet breakfast and then just see where the day takes me see you guys in the morning <laughs> That is so bright. Good morning guys, uh, Saturday today. I got up early and went to the gym. The gym here is so good. So humid though, I made the mistake of wearing long leggings. Mum and Dad kind of met me as I was walking back, so I turned around and walked with them and we walked around, because the resort here is based on an island, and so we walked like around the island, it's not that big, but we walked like around the island, and then came back and I had a shower, and now we're going to the buffet breakfast, and I'm so excited for this. Breakfast has been consumed, and I am now full of pastries and fruit, which I'm not mad about at all, but I am walking back to the room because I talk about this on Instagram, but I have been diagnosed with perioral dermatitis like around my lips, so I need to go get my antibiotics. Bullet team is golden hour, and I've seen a little bit too much sun today, but I've got the film camera, and I'm gonna go down and photo the sunset, which is right there. Today we were walking back from breakfast, and we went, there's like a hut, which is literally like, right over here, where you can go and you get your towels, like your beach towels. We just had a conversation at the breakfast place with one of the workers about like all the people who used to be here. My parents have been coming here for like 25 years, and so we're talking about all the people, like the OGs that used to work here. We go up to the towel bureau, and this guy Marley is there, and Marley's been working here since I was a kid, and he recognized us, which is really cool. It is Sunday today and I'm off to the gym and I've never done this on a Sunday before but I was like what the heck there's a really good gym here the gym at our next hotel is not as good and so I was like I need to soak this up for all that it's worth there's like I don't know watch on great it's like quarter to seven it's like a 10 minute walk to the gym but I'm gonna do upper body today because they have like a cable machine and stuff not that I'll probably use the cable machine but I'm keen to try to do some pull-ups on the, the bar also I don't know who the dedicated person on oxes for the whole resort and the other day we walked up and they were playing i thank god and i was like yo this person needs a rope and then 
the next song was Gyro and I was like this person they're already doing God's work oh man that was so good the plan was I would do my workout and I would message oh here they come what good timing I was gonna message them and say yeah I'm finished but there's no Wi-Fi in the gym we're just uh, going on our walk can you guys hear that sounds like cats having a scrap those are bats there's so many bats on this island Oh, hang on, let me turn the camera around. See those black things that look like big leaves? Those are all bats hanging upside down. Oh, that was one that just flew past. So, Mum, what's our plan of attack for today? I'm going for a walk now and go breakfast. Yep. And then wait for the others to come over. They're literally staying like across the road. The island that we're on is like there's a like a causeway, like a bridge that connects it to the mainland, which is only like 50 we'll meters long. We will show you soon. We are going that way. They'll come over here and we'll chill out and have some lunch and stuff. And in this afternoon, we're going into the village, is that right? Yeah, later this afternoon. Later this afternoon, like 4 o'clock, we're going into the village to see all the, all the kids and the family. And I'm so excited to see them. Little Emma was four years old last time I saw her. And now she's eight and she talks English. And we FaceTime them every now and again. And I can have a conversation with her, which is so much fun. Where are we going for dinner? Have we decided yet? No, I'm still thinking about that. Still thinking about dinner. We're either going to go to Gecko's, which is where the others are staying across the road, because they do a fire show there, which can be quite cool. Or we'll go back to the same place that we had dinner last night. Here is Sid Bridge. It used to be one way back when we used to come when we were younger, but they added another lane to it. And where the others are staying is literally where his dad walking on the bridge. Is at the main road there and it's on the other side of the road. And the village we're going to today is down there. How's that? I'm not doing for that. Am I doing, am I doing it right? Yeah. Is it zoomed up on my face? Yep. <laughs> Come, you're just standing there waiting. 